I came to decide to publish in the journal after hearing about their existence. I chose the particular journal that I published in because its content were more closely related to the question and the content of my paper. So Biomed Central has a, a wide range of journals. Uh, so it covers uh, content that can be fairly niche or fairly broad. And mine happened to be fairly niche oriented. The process of submitting a paper to uh, the Biomed Central journals was a real pleasure. The online submission was simple, uh, easy to follow. It was fairly quick. The, um, it was fairly intuitive, the layout. So the submission side was easy. The processing side was also um, fantastic because you can monitor where your paper is in the system. The feedback uh, was very quick and because everything was open, you, it's almost like you have a dialogue with the reviewers about your paper. Uh, I found that really appealing. You know, the stage of my career where I am in, being able to nominate somebody who's a reviewer um, and have somebody who's considered an expert in the field uh, review and make comments on your paper is really uh, superb. Uh, for me, the clear distinction between uh, what would be considered the mainstream journals, uh, which may be published online or uh, in paper versions, versus Biomed Central is been that Biomed Central papers are made immediately available. So you don't have to wait six months or never uh, to be able to access them if you don't have a subscription. So as a reader, as uh, somebody that's interested in the work that other people are doing, it's really fantastic to be able to get content uh, right away. And not only see the content, but also the pathway that a particular paper has gone through in its evolution from its initial submission through uh, to the final version that was accepted and, and released. I think it's a real confidence builder to be able to put your material, your, pa your paper out in uh, an arena that's accessible to anyone. It's not uh, stuck in a journal only be read by the small number of people that are interested in a very uh, specific aspect of a, of a topic. Uh, I think it's also confidence building because it's relatively, or it's easily accessible uh, format for submission and uh, follow up without being too local. The other thing that for me is a real benefit is that in some institutions, just being a, on the staff of a university doesn't guarantee you access to, educate, uh, to library materials. Uh, I don't know how widely that, that cuts across institutions, but in my institution, uh, being on the staff does not give you library access. All right. So you don't get to read nature because the library won't make their resources available to all of the staff. So I think that's a key point. You know, you may be in an institution that has those materials and you will still not be able to get electronic access to a lot of headline journals because of the arrangements that they have to make with those publishers. The price per head that they may be charged. So having free content available online whenever you need it is superb.